Okay, here's a tutorial <coughs> in creating um, a gloss effect on objects. So, if for example, I draw a ball. Like I, I'm going to do a crystal ball right now. So I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'm just going to make a, a fill on it. I remove the outline. Click on the outline tool and click on the X for no outline. And then I'm going to duplicate the the ball. So I would go edit, duplicate. So I've got two balls right now. What I'm going to do, I'll make it white. I'll fill it with white. And I'll shrink it down. And I'll move it to this side of the, of the, uh, of the ball. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a, uh, a sphere. And then I'll just make, I'll distort it a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do the blend effect. So I click on the first object, which is the uh, white circle. And then I hit shift. Okay, hold on the shift button on your keyboard and click on the bigger circle. Now I've got two circles, one blue and one white. I'm going to this interactive blend tool. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, fifth on the last from the bottom. And I click on the first option, which is interactive blend tool. Kay, so in the interactive blend tool, I can make, I'll just click on this white box and then drag it going to, going up. Now, as you can see, I have a sphere. So if I just zoom out, looks like a sphere now. But now I want more realistic. I'll make a glossy effect in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to duplicate the circle again. So we edit, duplicate. Okay. I'll make it uh, smaller and I'll make it white. I don't can't see it, so I'll make it to front. So you go arrange, order, to front. There you go. So now the next tool that I'm going to use is the interactive transparency tool. So it's the same uh, button here, but it's the last one. Okay. Now I'm going to do uh, go to transparency, and then the option I'm going to go to linear. When you click on linear, it goes like this. But what I want to do is to move this up here and go down like this. There you go. And then if I zoom out, that's what you get. The gloss effect. Very nice. So, in order to make this one, it's combination of interactive blend tool and interactive transparency tool. So I'll just show it to you quickly. So first make a circle, okay, uh, color it in the outline. Okay, now duplicate it. Make it white and shrink it down. Shrink it down a bit and move it over to the bottom and then make it smaller. And make it smaller and smaller. And then you go to your interactive blend tool. So you go sh uh, select both objects first. You can make a crossing window. Now you know there are two selected objects because here in the property bar it says two objects selected. And then you go to your interactive blend tool, which is this tool here. And then click and drag it up. And you got it there. Now the next thing to do is you're going to duplicate another circle. Oops, sorry. Uh, edit and then uh, duplicate. And make it white again. But now you have to put this in front. So you go to arrange, order, to front. And then make it smaller a bit. Then you can use your interactive transparency, which is this one. And then click on linear, and then you just just do some adjustment by bringing the white box up and this one down. There you go. 
very nice. If you zoom out, like a glossy, glossy wall. And you can always change the color, make it red, purple, blue, pink, purple, and red. And you can also make the circle here a different color like green, blue. Yeah. So you got can do lots of things with, with that one. So that's the interactive. Let me take this off. And that's it.